And mixed messages today when it comes to schools. New federal guidelines are encouraging in-person learning. It comes as yet another Chicago area district flip flops back to remote learning for the fall. CBS 2's Stephen Graves breaks down the decision. How much do you miss your students? I miss them so much um, and I'm anxious to meet my new ones. But this coming school year, Woodland Intermediate teacher Carrie Raycheck and her husband Joe will be doing that virtually. Good girl. She's the loud one. Checking in with them last spring, they already had the process down. Just last night, they learned it will continue. I, I, I'm happy it's going to happen, going to go this way for safety for everybody. The school district is starting online learning in August and going until October, but leaders say it is improved. More virtual community building for the 5,500 students and 800 staff affected. Teachers also have the option of going live from their classrooms. And we've been doing everything we can to bring back students in person um, to the best of our ability. And we will do that when we know that it's safe. It comes as the latest Centers for Disease Control report urges in-person learning, claiming COVID-19 poses low risk to school-aged children and safety precautions should still be present. But Superintendent Lori Casey says exploring in-person options proved tough. And we were spending all of our time planning for contact tracing and ensuring everybody's safe. And we weren't spending our time on how can we create the best educational opportunity for our students. Here in Chicago, the public schools plan involves a mix of in-person and online learning. School leaders today adamant that any new guidelines means reevaluating carefully. I want parents and students to know that any plan that we put in place will be guided by the science. And in this new reality, this math teacher says the equation to successful learning is focus. It's going to be so tough for parents, but they do need to really try to get that, you know, little space for them somewhere, whether it's on their bed in their bedroom or at a desk. After all, focusing in a confined space is what this husband and wife duo does best. And take it with a positive attitude. Stephen Greaves, CBS 2 News. Each Woodland student will get electronics and Wi-Fi if needed. Chicago Public Schools does the same and is working to get more money to reach even more students.